To grow a healthy crop, farmers need to keep their soil healthy and manage insects, diseases and weeds. Weeds affect crops in many ways. Weeds use light, water and nutrients that otherwise could have benefited your crop. But not all weeds are the same and some weeds cause more damage than others. Striger is one of the most damaging weeds in sorghum, millet and maize. While the attractive red flowered striger can be found in Eastern Africa, the purple flowered one appears across Africa. As both behave in the same way, they'll be treated together in this video. Knowing your enemy is the start of any successful battle. So how does Striger differ from other weeds? Well, first of all, Striger is a parasitic weed. Parasitic weeds acquire all or part of their nutrition by growing on another plant called a host plant. Kiduha Striker likes to grow in places where the soil is not fertile because it depends on the roots of the crops, especially sorghum. Striker finds its food through the roots of the crop and does not rely on the soil. It sucks its food from the crop. Unlike what many believe, Striga does not reproduce through its roots, but through seeds only. In fact, a single Striga plant can produce hundreds of thousands of seeds. The seeds are so tiny that most farmers do not know that they are seeds. Mm -hmm. They really look more like black dust. But don't be fooled. Uh, Seed of striga is not possible to recognize because it is like black powder. The black dust is held in a pod that looks like a small weevil. But when you crush it, the black dust, which are the small seeds, is released. Striger is also special in another way. Its seeds only germinate after they receive a signal from nearby roots of a cereal crop, like sorghum, millet, maize and rice. Roots of germinating striger seeds then enter the roots of the cereal to suck water and nutrients from the crop. For up to seven weeks the young striger plants develop underground. Because of this, striger emerges after all the other weeds and may escape the first round of weeding. Kiduha anapenda kustawi sehemu ambayo haina rutuba kwa sababu yeye mara Striga is different from other weeds. Striga does not germinate at the same time as other weeds. It waits until after the field is weeded. The time the crop matures is the time it appears above the ground. So by the time you see the striga weeds emerge, they've already damaged your crop. Attacked plants may fail to produce flowers. Most importantly, if you let Striga produce flowers and seeds, you'll be in even deeper trouble for the next years. To avoid this, you need to identify Striga before it produces flowers. <laughs> Google 
The difference between striker and other weeds is that striker appears as a batch nearby the sorghum plant because it attacks sorghum roots. Once striker is in your village, its dust like seeds can quickly spread to your field and those of your neighbors. Striker seeds easily spread with wind and run up water by livestock and through contaminated seeds from infested fields. If no proper action is taken, within a few years you may no longer be able to grow millet or sorghum. Striga multiplies quickly because its seed is like dust. So, this year you may find a few striga plants only, but after a year you will find many more striga plants in the same area because it spreads by wind. Now that you know your enemy, you understand why you need to join forces within your village. Let's listen to a farmer from Mali who had learned why working together with others is crucial to control striga. If I cultivate my crop when Straga is present, I can fight against Straga, but it is necessary that my neighbors do the same in their fields. Otherwise, my effort will be in vain when it rains heavily, because rainwater will wash Straga seed onto my plot. So, for a good result, you and your neighbors must work together to fight against Straga. Now that we know how Striga develops and multiplies, let's see if it can attack all crops. Well, some crops like cotton, tobacco, sesame, fodder legumes or grain legumes are called trap crops. Trap crops send out signals that trigger Striga seeds to germinate, but then don't allow the Striga roots to penetrate the crop roots. Without a host, the germinated striga seeds soon die. You can imagine how useful these crops are in the fight against striga. So let's summarize how striga works. Parasitic weeds such as striga acquire their nutrition from a host plant, not from the soil. Striga multiplies by seeds only. Very small black striga seeds require a signal from the roots of a host plant before they can germinate. The striga roots attach to the roots of the host and suck its water and nutrients. Striga develops underground for up to seven weeks before it emerges above ground. By the time you see striga emerge, the damage is done and your crop may be lost. So at all times avoid Striga from producing and spreading its seeds. By knowing your enemy, half the battle is won.